Hey everyone, Chaos Gear here, and welcome to Digimon World 3 Let's Play series. As you can see, I've got my partners leveled up to, well, just about over level 60. Um, I have unlocked quite a few Digivolutions. I now have on, well, let's go ahead and start with Renamon. Phoenixmon, Seraphimon, and Sakuyamon. So she has three Megas, and Seraphimon is, um, well, let's see, what level is he? Phoenixmon's 91. I'm working on Phoenixmon just because, um, well, just in case the first two partners that are really strong go out and end up getting knocked out, I can turn her into Phoenixmon and we can just go ahead and use her Crimson Flame to revive them, which is very important. Then we have Seraphimon, who's level 90, and knows all the way up to his Giga Heal, including Windfield. Not sure I'll ever use the field moves, but um, and then we have Sukuyamon with the lightning bolt, which has been helping me level all of my <laughs> evolutions for her. Yeah, so this this took of several days of leveling just to get this far for in game. I feel like this right here will be more respectable than rushing through the game, because honestly, I don't remember ever fighting Galacticmon at the end. So we'll find out what happens then. But right now on um, Agumon, I'm using his Omnimon. I'll probably switch over to War Greymon um, just before the last battle because I want to be able to DNA Digivolve. Um, if I have to switch out, I'd rather DNA Digivolve to switch out than um, be stuck with an, a Digimon that cannot DNA Digivolve because the DNA Digivolve switching and the technique is more damaging than just switching and then trying to attack. I'll also take the experience adapter off of them as well. So I've got Omnimon, and Omnimon is leveling so slow. Like, once he hit level 60, um, it takes like 5 to 7 battles just to get him to level 1 level. So, yeah. I'm not sure how people put up with that back in the day. Because so, you have to get him to level 99 before he learns his Grey Sword technique. So, yeah, I'm not even going to get him there, but I'll just go ahead and keep leveling him anyway because these guys are almost done. I do have Gallantmon up to 99 because I wanted his Snapping Claw, and he doesn't learn the ability to load that technique until level 99, so I got that on the other two Digimons. And Snapping Claw does help to steal items, just FYI. Um, the problem is, even with the hack system, I wasn't able to get the training point books that I was hoping to get off the Scorpio Mons, the Black Scorpio Mons. I was really hoping to get some of those five point, uh, well, training point chips or whatever they're called. So he's got Omnimon, Wargreymon, and Gallimon. Wargreymon is the DNA Digivolution for Agumon. Seraphimon is the DNA Digivolution for Renamon. Both of those are for, for Monmon, because Monmon is definitely going to start us out. Just being really honest. Um, I've got him on Cannondramon right now, but I will probably switch him over to Metal. Well, I will switch him over to Metal Gururumon or Imperial Dramon. Imperial Dramon is level 99. Um, I was going to use Imperial Digimon Fighter Mode, but the DNA Digivolution for Fighter Mode and Omnimon does not exist on this game. I checked that because I couldn't remember if it did or not. It doesn't. So Imperial Digimon plus Seraphimon equals Imperial Digimon Paladin Mode. I did test that out, and that is indeed how it goes. I have no idea why. Um, we got Metal Gururumon, so I can DNA Digivolve with WarGreymon for switching on Agumon, and then Imperial Dramon will, of course, DNA Digivolve with Seraphimon, which is kind of weird, but what it is what it is. And I've got Cannon Dramon, of course, which is the one I've got him on right now, just because I'm trying to get him to 99 so he can learn Devil Buster and transfer that over to Metal Guru Mon and Imperial Dramon, just in case we need it. Don't know if we really do or not. But anyway, that is catching you guys up on all the leveling I've been doing. I am working on the Legendary Weapon. We have to unlock Amaterasu City, which we're getting ready to go into now. Um, after beating the leader of Zanwu City. So, we're going to head to the bridge and hopefully get our cutscene that we're waiting for. If we can make it there. <laughs> Hercules Computerimon. I remember when I first came here, he was giving me a hard time. So, let's see what happens when we use Giga Fire on Omnimon. I doubt he gives us a hard time now because we're level 60. Yeah, that's... I only hit him twice and it still killed him. That's nice. Yeah, I've literally already had like five battles on the way here. Because I used the Central Park... Um, board with Digmon to get to this Central Park in Amaterasu server. And uh, 
ran into a lot of Digimon down there. Yeah, here's our cutscene. This lets you know that the night mons will be gone. Okay, we're going into Amaterasu City. Hey, Chaos, wait a sec. Teddy, you came over here? Yeah, I came with Lisa and the others. Hey, Chaos, can you wait a moment before you go in? Lisa is bringing everyone from the Resistance. Then what about the AOA? They've been routed by the Resistance. Once we get the four cities, we only have Amaterasu City left. I see, so now... Yeah, it's our final battle. We're going to defeat the AOA. Yeah, right on. If we fight together, the AOA is nothing. Now we're on the bridge. Now if you came here before getting the cutscene, uh, those Nightmon would have kicked your butt. It doesn't matter what Digivolution you have, it's like a one-hit KO no matter what, because Berserk Sword. Nightmon won't resist anymore. Okay, first release the people of this city. Everyone, come on, charge. We're not gonna lose to the AOA, yeah! Let's get Amaterasu City back. Wow, we're definitely, we'll definitely win. Yeah, Lisa and the others are here too. But what's happening in the real world? I hope Destromon hasn't started attacking yet. And this is where we're going to get the FMV for that. I wonder if they ever used that for one of the series. Don't worry about it, Teddy. That's why we're all fighting. We're going to defeat the AOA. Yeah, you're right. We're almost there, so let's go. What? You guys are still here? Oh, Nick. Nick, what's our situation? Haha, <laughs> it's good. AOA inside the city surrendered quickly. Then the city? Oh, we got it back already. Then only the administration center is left. What? Then we don't have a chance to beat them up. <laughs> He's looking forward to that. That's why we came to get you. We want you to help in the attack on the center. Alright, leave it to me. I won't lose. Teddy, I'm gonna go up ahead. Be careful. I'll be right there. Alright, before we go into the building, I'm gonna do some quick shopping at the shops, I think, real quick. Alright, so I got all the weapons that I'm gonna need for, uh, the final stage of the um, legendary weapon. The thing that's going to be the hardest probably is for me to go back and get the first stage weapons for Agumon and Monmon's legendary weapons because I accidentally went ahead and beat Zanwu Leader and after you do that um, the AOA guards like these guys block the road to <laughs> the road to the um, Mirage Tower which is where you need to buy those weapons so keep that in mind uh, definitely buy those weapons before you leave that area and go and face Sanwu City. Alright. Gonna be a lot of battling from here on out. Won't let anyone get past here. I won't let anyone get in the way. Our beautiful world is going to come to life soon. Okay. It's got a Mega Seedramon. Uh, let's just see what Inferno does. I I've never actually used this move. I 
I didn't think this would be very effective. I'm pretty sure he's a water type anyway. No, I use this electric type damage, I guess. Uh, that did a lot more damage just doing a normal attack. Oh my goodness, I got a crit with the counter crest. <laughs> Rip mail, Dramon. Find the girl level. Okay, those guys are gone. Get a whole bunch more battles inside, so... I think we're gonna start fighting some mega levels and stuff up in here. You're a fool for challenging us alone. This is the end of the line for you. Is it? Is it really? Now this is the one that has a um, male Dramon and I think another electric type. Let's see if Giga Fire does very much. With the level my Digimon are, I should should not have any problems with taking these guys on. Although it looks like we're not going to do that much damage with techniques. Now the black market in this version of um, Asuka City is not unlocked yet. That's why I've decided to come in here and start doing the battles already. I'm wondering if we have to beat the Megami's president, who is actually the leader of the AOA, before it um, allows us to go back into the black market. Plus, we probably have to turn the people back from Oinkmon into people, so probably wouldn't hurt. That's a nice looking Gardramon. I'm just gonna go ahead and use regular attacks on him. I got two Digimon in my party that can heal now, so. Don't have to go back to an end so often anymore. Yep. Just lay down. Lay down and stay down. <laughs> I, I know this wasn't the right way to go, but... This is the basement stairs. You're a fool for defying us. I'll make you regret ever coming here. Okay. So these are going to be all male Dramon Guard Dramons, probably. Guess I'm just gonna depend on my regular attack and my counter for damage. Since techniques aren't doing that much. Seems like the Tamer's Digimon don't take much damage from techniques, but regular wild Digimon, it's super easy to knock them out with um, techniques and not with normal attack. Kind of strange how that works, but. I 
Yeah, and we'll heal Agumon up after this. Renamon would probably do more damage because her wisdom and spirit is through the roof. I was trying to max her wisdom and spirit out, like I've got Agumon and Monmon's attack out maxed out. I'm gonna use Mega Heal. If he's not the last one, we're just going to go back and start fighting the other ones in the main area. Because I know this just leads down to the door. And there's, uh, I think, a High Andromon or something? No, it's not High Andromon. There, there's, a, there's another version of a Digimon down there where Datamon is. And if you beat him, he gives you something special or whatever. Uh, might be Black King Numemon. I, I don't know. There is Black King Numemon in the sewer somewhere. And he gives you the bit adapter. It's the only one in the game. And the experience adapter you can actually get from the Dark Knight guy on Amatross's server. So it's pretty nice. It's the only way to get it. Be nice if we could crit. Oh, we evaded. Nice. That's one thing I really need to work on is their speed. But I'm out of training points right now. Agumon, I've been just trying to bounce out, but I need to get their speed up higher. Because um, when we go against Galacticmon, I'm definitely going to want my evasion to be higher. Because his evade will be super high which shouldn't matter for the techniques because he can only counter physical damage so the head part anyway all right that should do it for him This leads us out to the city where there's nothing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back because uh, I know this just leads down to the sewer. I think there's a box down there too, but I'm not gonna really worry about it. I'll guard this place with my life. Oh man, harsh. Yeah, this is the one that's got Puppetmon, Piedmon, and I think Creepymon for his Digivolutions. Gigafire and Inferno should do quite a bit of damage to him, considering he's a plant type, I think. But he does massive damage. Puppetmon hits like a truck, no matter who's got him. Oh, never mind. He ain't gonna get to hit anything at all. <laughs> gonna hurt dude oh maybe not Let's see if giga fire does very much to him yeah actually does giga fire has been like my go-to move on my um Agumon. Now he's down. 
Yeah, these guys are going to give us a lot of experience. Creepy Mon. That did nothing. How much damage does he do to us? Not very much, but... Let's see if our normal attack does more damage. Probably does. Yeah, way more. He's gonna use a technique which can't be countered. That was pretty weak too. Not a single level growth. It's crazy. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I uh, just wanted to catch you up on my uh, Digimon's levels and um, get started on all these battles that we're going to have in here. I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we'll continue right here at this door. Till then, peace out.